Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Over the past couple of months, I've been looking at stories about radiation over Europe. Well, it turns out, we've got it narrowed down to uh, Russia, at least. Uh, the Russians are denying this. They're denying that they know what the source is. Typical. Russian authorities on Tuesday confirmed reports of a spike in radioactivity in the air over the Ural Mountains. The Russian Meteorological Service said in a statement Tuesday that it recorded the release of ruthenium-106 in southern Urals in late September and classified it as extremely high contamination. So they've admitted that the radiation is there, just saying they don't know where it's coming from. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. France's nuclear safety agency recent earlier this month said it recorded radioactivity in the area between the Volga River and the Ural Mountains from a suspected accident involving nuclear fuel or the production of radioactive material. It said the release of the isotope ruthenium 106 pose no health or environmental hazards to European countries. Right. Right. Like I'm going to believe that. At the time, Russia state controlled Rosatom Corporation said in a statement that there had been no radiation leak from its facilities. That is a lie. You are a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. The Russian Meteorological Office's report noted, however, high levels of radiation in villages adjacent to Rosatom's Mayak plant for spent nuclear fuel. Mayak said in a statement Tuesday, night being the source of the contamination, the plant said it has not conducted any work on extracting ruthenium-106 from spent nuclear fuel for several years. Mayak in the Chebolinsk region has been responsible for at least two of Russia's biggest radioactive accidents. In 2004, it was confirmed that the waste was being dumped in the local river. Wonderful. Nuclear regulators saying that no longer happens, but anti-nuclear activists say it's impossible to tell given the level of state secrecy. Environmental pressure groups Greenpeace said in a statement on Tuesday that it would petition the Russian Prosecutor General's Office to investigate possible concealment of a radiation accident and check whether public health was sufficiently protected. But on this particular case, I have to side with Greenpeace. Uh, they're right. I wouldn't normally agree with them, but hey, <laughs> sometimes you gotta make some compromises on some things. So stand by for this one. This could be trouble. I love it when the French say there's no danger to the public. Uh, jeepers, we don't even know what's happened yet, and you're saying there's no danger to the public? Come on. Unbelievable. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching.